heart wants to beat like the wings of the birds that rise from a lake to the trees. My heart wants to sigh like a chime that flies from a church on a breeze. To laugh like a brook when it trips and falls over stones in its
you go out into the world for a time, you will return to us knowing what we expect and that we do expect it. I know what you expect and I'll do it, I promise. Maria, if it is God's will, where am I to go? There is a family, a family of seven children. You like children, you've always been very good with them. They need a governess until September. Until September? Captain Von Trapp expects you this afternoon. He's a fine man and a brave one. He was given the Maria Theresa Medal by the Emperor for heroism in the Adriatic. The captain in the Navy, Mother, he'll be very strict. You're not being sent to his battleship. God bless you, Maria. Reverend Mother, have I your permission to sing? Yes, my child. These are a few of my favorite things.
I am Captain Von Trapp. You are Fräulein... Maria. Maria Rayner. Now, Fräulein, as to your duties. Would you mind stepping over here? Before you meet the children, you will put on another dress. I haven't any other dress. When we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes are given to the poor. What about this one? Well, the poor didn't want this one. <laughs> this is what you would call a worldly dress? It belonged to our last postulant. I would have made myself a dress, but I wasn't given time. I can make my own clothes. Good. I'll see that you're given some material. Today, if possible. Now, you will meet my children. There are seven of them. You will find out how far they have progressed in their studies and carry on from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom. Each afternoon they march. You will see that at all times they conduct themselves with decorum and orderliness. The first rule in this house is discipline. Yes, sir. Governess, Fräulein Maria. As I sound your signal, you will step forward and repeat your name. You, Fräulein, will listen and learn their signals so that you can call them when you want them. Liesel. Friedrich. Luisa. Kurt. Brigitte. Marta. That one is correct. <laughs> now, Fräulein. Let's see how well you listen. Well, I won't have to whistle for them. What I mean is, I'm going to be with them all the time. Not on all occasions. This is a large house and a large estate. They've been taught to come only when they hear their signal. Now, when I want you, this is what you'll hear. Well, you won't have to trouble, sir, because <laughs> I couldn't answer to a whistle. That's nonsense. Everyone in this house answers to a whistle. Well, I'll show you. Yes, sir. That is the orderly, the butler, the new governess, Fräulein Maria. Yes, sir. That is the executive officer, Frau Schmidt, the housekeeper, the new governess. <laughs> that is the maid, Ursula. Please be sure that her room is ready. Well, I shall now leave you with the children. You are in command. Mm. Mm. Pardon me, sir. I, I don't know how to address you. You will call me Captain. Thank you, Captain. I forgot to return this whistle, Captain. I won't be needing it. Captain. Well, now that there's just us, would you tell me your names again and how old you are? Now you're? I'm Liesel. I'm 16 years old and I don't need a governess. Well, I'm glad you told me. We'll just be friends. I'm Friedrich. I'm 14 and I'm a boy. A boy? Why, well, you're almost a man. I'm Brigitte. You didn't tell me how old you are. Louisa? I'm Brigitte. She's Louisa. And she's 13 years old. And you're smart. I'm nine and I think your dress is the ugliest one I ever saw. Brigitte, you mustn't say a thing like that. Why not? Don't you think it's ugly? <laughs> Even if I thought so, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> I'm Kurt. I'm 11. Almost. That's a nice age to be. 11. Almost. I'm Marta. I'm turning 7 on Tuesday, and I like the pink parasol. Pink is my favorite color, too. And you're Gretel. I'm going to tell you something. I've never been a governess before. How do I start? You mean you don't know anything about being a governess? No. 
Hmm. Well, the first thing you have to do is to tell Father to mind to his own business. No, Louisa, don't. I like her. What's in here? My guitar. What did you bring this for? Well, for when we all sing together. We don't sing. Of course you sing. Everybody sings. What songs do you know? We don't know any songs. You don't? No. no. Well, now I know where I'm going to start. I'm going to teach you how to sing. Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. The first three notes just happen to be Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, so.
school. You don't have to say goodnight this early just because your father's home. How did you know my father was home? Oh, I have a way of knowing things. Oh, you're wonderful. No, I'm not, really. Oh, yes, you are. How did you know two days ago that you would be here just this time tonight with a telegram for Franz? Well, every year he receives a birthday telegram from his sister. You see, you are wonderful. Can I come again tomorrow night? Rolf, how can you be sure you're going to have a telegram to deliver tomorrow night? I could come here by mistake with a telegram from Colonel Schneider. He's in from Berlin. He's staying with the Gauleiter, group, but no one's supposed to know he's here. Don't tell your father. Why not? Well, your father's pretty Austrian. We're all Austrian. Some people think we ought to be German. I'm getting mad at those who don't. They're ready to... Well, let's hope your father doesn't get into any trouble. Don't worry about father. He was decorated for bravery. It's not your father I worry about. Only his daughter. Me? Why? Lisa, how old are you? Sixteen. What's wrong with that? You wait, little girl, on an empty stage For fate to turn the light on Your life, little girl, is an empty page That man will want to write on On 17, baby, it's time to feel. Better be where we can be and careful, baby, you're on the brink. You are 16, going on 17, fellows will fall in line. Eager young lads and roulettes and cats will offer you food and wine. Totally on. Prepared are you to face the world of man? Timid and shy and scared of you, things be on your plan. Could someone older and wiser tell him you want to do? I am seventeen, going on. 
I'm just getting ready for bed. The captain is going to Vienna tomorrow. I have this material he ordered for a new dress for you. Oh, how nice of him. Even before it's made, this is the prettiest dress I've ever had. And I hope the captain will like it because I want to ask him for more material. Oh. Oh, not for me, for the children, for play clothes. <laughs> the Von Trapp children never play. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But, but they're children. They have to climb trees and roll on the grass. Think of all the rocks and caves. The captain says the best exercise is marching. The children will continue to march. I hope you find your room comfortable. Yes, thank you. There will be new curtains in the alcove. They will be home tomorrow. But these are very good. There will be new curtains. <laughs> will the captain be away long? I don't know. Of course, he has to come home every time he hires a new governess. Sometimes I think the children get rid of their governesses just because they want to see their father. He must want to see them too. Uh, since his wife died, I might have been too much of her. Oh. Oh, you can put that away. You won't be using it. Why not? The captain won't have music here. Oh, he won't have music? I think so love music. There are wonderful evenings here. His wife would sing and he would play the violin or guitar. But now he's shot all out of his life. <coughs> so that's why he's the way that he is. But to not have music, that's wrong for him and wrong for the children too. It will work out. The captain may marry again before the summer is over. That would change everything. They'd have a new mother. It's going to rain. You better close your window. <laughs> Dear God, I know now that you have sent me here on a mission. I must help these children to love their new mother and to prepare them to win her love so that she will never want them to leave her. And I pray that this will become a happy family in my sight. God bless the captain. God bless Liesel, Friedrich, Louisa, Brigitte, Marta, and little Gretel. Oh, and I forgot the other boy. What's his name? Well, the God bless what's his name. God bless the Reverend Mother and Sister Margareta and everybody else at Nomburg Abbey. And now, dear God, about Liesel. Help her to know that I'm her friend and help her to tell me what she's been up to. Are you going to tell us? Help me to be understanding so that I may guide her footsteps. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I was out taking a walk and some morning by the doors earlier than usual. To get up here? That's how we always got into this room to play tricks on the governess. Oh. Louisa can climb up with a toad in her hand. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, Liesel, were you out walking all by yourself? Yeah. No. If we washed out your dress tonight, nobody would notice it tomorrow. Then all of this would be just between you and me. You can put this on, take your dress in there, and put it to soak in the bathtub. Come back out here and sit on the edge of my bed and we'll have a talk. Castle 
Never start out looking for the people you wind up getting. That's why I've been telephoning Paris, Rome, Stockholm, London. Oh, Gail, telephone. How else could I afford it? Why am I up here? I hoped it was because you liked me. Oh, of course I like you. Why shouldn't I like you? You live like a king. You have an excellent wine cellar. Max. I like rich people. I like the way they live. I like the way I live when I'm with them. Speaking of your is there a cathedral around here? Oh, that's our abbey, Nomberg Abbey. Do they have a choir? Oh, a beautiful one. Good. In the next few days, we'll be visiting all the towns of these areas, listening to Zengerbunk's choirs called You'll be here for meals, won't you? <laughs> oh, yes. Isn't a town just about that size? Watson, where I discovered the St. Ignatius Boys Choir. In 1930, they won the festival. Became very rich to it all over the world. Oh, yes, yes. Whatever became of them? By the time their voices changed, they were rich enough to live in America. <laughs> Who lives in that dilapidated castle down there? Rumpelstiltskin? Baron Alberfeld, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet all your friends. Georg, why don't you give a dinner for me while I'm here? And nothing very much. Just something lavish. <laughs> I wouldn't know whom to invite. These days it's hard to tell who's a friend and who's an enemy. Oh, this isn't the time to make enemies. Let's make some friends. I can't understand what's happened to the children. Uh, you're not worried about them, are you? They, uh, they should have been here to welcome you. Oh, well, it couldn't have been an intentional slight because they haven't met me yet. Forgive me. I'll go find them. Elsa. Have you made a guilt, Michael? Is he going to marry you? Oh, yes. He just hasn't admitted it yet. There seems to be something standing in his way. You don't know what it is? No. I do. What? It's very simple. It's money! Money? Yes, he is rich. And you're rich. In all the famous love affairs of lovers, have to struggle. In Garrett Rooms, a way of stamps of lovers, starve and snuggle. The famous for misfortune, which they seem to have no fear of. While lovers who are very rich, you very seldom hear of. No sign of them anywhere.
I have a telegram for you. I am Herr Detweiler. You've delivered your telegram. Now get out! Georg, he's just a boy. I am an Austrian. I will not be hired. Georg. Why don't you look at things the way I do? What's going to happen is going to happen. Just be sure it doesn't happen to you. Max, it's a good thing you haven't any character. Because if you did, I'm convinced I'd hate you. You couldn't hate me. I'm too lovable. Hey, dead father, there's a long distance call for you. It's I'll take it. Get cleaned up, get into your uniforms, and report back here. At once! Freud, where do they get these abominations? Out of a nightmare? No, out of some curtains. The curtains that used to hang in my bedroom, they had plenty of wear. Just in a bedroom. moment. Do you mean to tell me the people of the neighborhood have seen my children wearing Old curtains? Yes! They've become very popular. Everyone smiles at them. Oh, I don't wonder. They say, there go Captain Von Trapp's children. My children have always been a credit to my name. But Captain, they weren't. They were just unhappy marching machines. I don't care to hear from you about my children. Well, you must hear from someone. You're not home long enough to know them. I said I don't care to hear from I know you don't. But you've got to. Take Liesel. Liesel isn't a child anymore. And if you keep treating her as one, Captain, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. And Friedrich, Friedrich's afraid to be himself. He's shy, he's aloof. Friedrich needs you, he needs your confidence. Don't tell me about my son. Well, Brigitte could tell you about him. She could tell you a lot more if you got to know her because she notices things. And she always tells the truth, especially when you don't want to hear it. Kurt is sensitive, he's easily hurt. And you ignore him. You brush him aside the way you do all of them. I haven't finished yet. Louisa, she wants to have a good time. You just have to let her have a good time. And Marta, oh, I don't know about yet, but someone's got to find out about her. And little Gretel just wants to be loved. Please, Captain, love Gretel. Love all of them. They need you. Stop! Stop it. You will pack her things and return to the Abbey as soon as you can. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things, not in the way I said them. As soon as you've gone, there will be... What's that? Singing. Who's singing? Your children. My children? Sing. I wanted them to sing for Frau Schrader when they met her. Get it off, you must hear.
Mars. Georg, why haven't you told me how enchanting your children are? I'd like to have you show fresh aid of the gardens. Yes, show me the gardens. I want to see everything. And with you, too. Well, I don't know any of your names yet, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure I won't get them straight for a long time. My name is Marta. Oh. <laughs> I'm Marta. She's Louisa. <laughs> Right. I want to know my own children. They're waiting to know you. They want so much to. After I've gone. No, no. I want you to stay. If I can be of any help. You've helped already. You've brought music back into my home. I've forgotten. When it trips and falls over stones in its way To sing through the night Like a lark who is learning to pray
Germany. I am Austria. There's going to be Angeles. I want you and everyone like you, and that goes for our... It's uh, much more pleasant out on the terrace. Elbefeld, it's good to have you and the Baroness here again. Frau Schrader's charming you. I hope she is in jail. Oh, no, no, it's just a headache. I'm on my way up to get her now. We'll find you on the terrace. Father, I don't think these people are having a very good time. Well, half the people I invite won't speak to the other half. Well, Father, maybe they're having a good time not speaking to each other. <laughs> so, Frau Schrader asked me to let you know that she'll join you in a few minutes. Oh, thank you. I haven't danced the Lettler since I was a little girl. Do you remember it? Show me! Oh, no, I haven't danced it since. Who said right hand behind the back? Yes, but first, the boy and girl meet. Max, we can use you tonight. Frau Schrader, they're talking about you out there. Oh, come on, Georg. I've been dodging these people for an hour. Brigitte, have you seen your father? Good evening, Fräulein Maria. Herr Detweiler, it's nice to see you again. Yes, you're going to. Oh, I knew it all along. Frau Schrader didn't have a headache. She just wanted to get out of the party. She was faking. Brigitte, you shouldn't say things you don't know are true. But I do. I heard you say to father she'd been dodging. That didn't mean that she didn't have a headache. Brigitte, it's very important that you children like Frau Schrader. I like her all right. Why is it important? Well, I think she's going to be your new mother. Oh, Fräulein, father'd never marry her. Why, he couldn't. Why couldn't he? Because he's in love with you. Oh. Now, Brigitte, that's just the type of thing. You must know this. No, no, Brigitte, no. Remember the other night when we were all sitting on the floor singing the Edelweiss song he taught us? 
After we finished, you laughed at him for forgetting the words. He didn't forget the words. He just stopped singing to look at you. And when he speaks to you, the way his voice sounds. No, no, Bridget, sir, no. And the way he looked at you just now when you were dancing. You're in love with him. Oh, okay, Gretel, one more dance and then off to bed, okay? Oh, Fräulein Marie. Oh, you won't be dining with the children tonight. You'll be dining down here with us. Oh, no. Oh, yes, it's all been arranged. Oh, but you'll have to hurry. You'll have to change. Oh, and Maria, where that dress you wore the other night when we were all singing together? It was lovely. <laughs> Soft, white. <laughs> I call for dinner, Captain. Oh, no, no, not yet. The children will want to say good night. Oh, Georg, I wanted the children to say good night the way they did last night. No, no Elsa, not here. Oh, please, Georg, the way they did it for me, it was so sweet. No, not in front of strangers. Presto, change them! <laughs> That's just in time. Children, children now.
Maria has asked to see you. I, I know it has taken her a long time. I waited until she wanted to come to me. It's strange. She's happy to be here, but she's unhappy too. Why did they send her back to us, do you know? She doesn't speak. She hasn't spoken except in prayer. I shall see her. Maria! This must have been a trying experience for you. It was, Reverend Mother. Has it taught you anything? I've learned I never want to leave these walls again. Maria, why did they send you back? They didn't send me back. I left. I left without telling them I was going, without saying goodbye. Maria, what happened? Why did you do this? I was frightened. Frightened? Well, I was confused. I felt... I had never felt that way before. And I knew I couldn't stay. I knew that here I would be away from it. But here, I would be safe. Maria, our Abby is not to be used as an escape. What is it you can't face? I, I can't face him again. Thank you, Sister Margareta. Maria, are you in love with Captain Von Trapp? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me about it, my child. Well, Brigitte said that I was, and that her father loved me. And then there he was, and we were looking at each other, and I could hardly breathe. And I knew I couldn't stay. But you do like him, Maria. Oh, yes. Did you let him see how you felt? If I did, I didn't know that I did. That's the part that's been torturing me. I was sent there on God's errand. To have asked for his love would have been wrong. Well, I don't know, but I do know this. I'm ready at this very moment to take the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. Maria, the love of man and woman is holy too. The first time we talked together, you told me that you remembered your father and mother before they died. Do you remember? Were they happy? Well, yes, mother, they were very happy. And you were born of their happiness, of their love. And, my child, you have a great capacity to love. What you must find out is, how does God want you to spend your love? I pledged my life to God's service. I pledged my life to God. Maria, if you love this man, it does not mean that you love God any less. You must find out. You must go back. No, please don't ask me to do that. Please, let me stay here with you. Maria, these walls were not built to shut out problems. You have to face them. You have to find the life that you were born to live. How do I find it? Look for it.
it's no good. Now, imagine you're standing on the stage of a big concert hall. What concert hall, Uncle Max? Uh, any concert hall. Colesburg Concert Hall. But a concert hall full of people. Now, let's try it. Why don't you sing loud? My finger hurts. <laughs> there. Now you can sing loud, Uncle Max. The night in the party, you sang so beautifully with such spirit. Well, let's try again. Oh, the darlings. They wanted to sing for me, but they're not as good as they used to be. We need Fräulein Maria. We do not need Fräulein Maria. You can sing just as well with me. But I've had experience with choirs, quartets, glee clubs. Max, please. Now, what would you like to sing? Do a deer, a female deer. Where's Fräulein Maria? We are not to mention Fräulein Maria. Come on, Max. I, I feel like taking a brisk walk. That's just what I need. Is anyone using the car? <laughs> no. Now, what are we going to sing? No, no, not that. Luisa, did you play any of your tricks, any of your jokes on Fräulein Maria? Only those she liked and laughed at. You didn't put any toads in her bed? No, Father. Some things have happened for her to leave without even saying goodbye. When is Fräulein Maria coming back? I don't think she's coming back, darling. But she was the best governess we ever had. Well, you're not going to have a governess anymore. Oh, good. I'm not sure that's good. You're going to have a new mother. A new mother? Frau Schrader? Yes, it was all settled last night. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for your afternoon walk. Thank you, son. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Lisa. Congratulations. Friedrich? Congratulations. Thank you, Vegeta.
We have some things to tell you, too. You must have a great deal to tell me. I guess the most important thing is that Father's going to be married. Married? To Frau Schrader. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, yes. He just told us. He told us himself. We, we got him! Luisa, Brigitte, boys, Maria, we'll be in the gardens. You've come back. Yes, Captain. You left us without any explanation whatsoever. Without even saying goodbye. It was very wrong of me. Forgive me. Why did you do this to us? Tell me. Please, don't ask me. Anyway, the reason no longer exists. Then you've come back to stay. Only until you can find another governess. Oh no, you've been missed by the children. I'm missed. Everyone missed you very much. The thing was the same while you were away. Everything was wrong. But I... Oh, we'll talk about it later. You go on up to the children now. Oh, and Maria, can you dress? We have a new postulant. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm right, Max. We'll just have to find him and ask him. I'll take your word for it, Elsa. Georg, settle something for Max and me, will you? Just how far down the mountain does your property go? Can you make out that stone wall? Mm -hmm. That's the property line. You see? I can argue about it. I know. That makes me furious. I don't like to win without a fight. Herr Detweiler, let's call for you from Berlin. Who could be calling me from Berlin? They said you would know who it was. Yes, yes, thank you, Franz. Georg. What were we talking about? Max, this isn't the first call you've had from Berlin. Georg. You know I have no political convictions. Can I help it if other people have? Uh, let's not stir this up again. Germany has promised not to invade Austria. Max knows that. And why does he bother to answer those calls from Berlin? Because if they don't keep their promises, I won't have some friends among them. Naturally. Oh. You agree too? Gail. This is the way I look at it. A man was dying and they were giving him his last rites. They asked him, Do you renounce the devil in all his works? And he replied, At the moment, I prefer not to make any enemies. <laughs> Gail. If they, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you? To your property? To your children? To everyone close to you? To Elsa? To me? <laughs> well, what will you do if they come? What anyone with any sense would do? Just sit tight and wait for it all to blow over. Do you think it will? One thing for sure. Nothing you can do will make any difference. Oh, don't look so serious, darling. Take the world off your shoulders. Relax. You, dear, attractive, dewy-eyed idealist. Today you have to learn to be a realist. You may be bent on doing deeds of daring do, but up against a sharp can of hairy do. Be wise, compromise. Compromise and be wise. I will not bow my head to the men I despise. You don't have to bow your head, just stoop a little. Why don't you learn to put your faith in your reliance on an obvious and simple fact of science? A crazy planet full of crazy people is somersaulting all the Yeah. 
That's me. And me, that all-absorbing character. That super special feature. Me. So every star in every world and planet, and every constellation in the sky, revolve around the center of the universe. only to himself. But you can't save yourself by giving up. And you don't outwit a lion by putting your head. Your call in the lion's mouth. I'll call them back. You might as well talk to them now, Max. Go, go. Georg, I feel I know what is going to happen here. Can't you see things my way? No. Not if you are willing to see things their way. <laughs> you know, there is one thing you do better here than we do in Vienna. Your sunsets. I'm going to miss them. Captain! Oh, I beg your pardon. Maria! Gay or even tell me for that Maria was back. I'm delighted. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Captain. Captain, the children would like to know if they could take a holiday from their lessons tomorrow so we can go on a picnic. Yes, I don't mind. Well, that will make them very happy. And may I be permitted to wish you happiness as well? Frau Schrader, Captain, the children have told me that you're going to be married. Oh, I'm afraid the children were wrong. Georg, I've got to get packing if I'm going to get back to Vienna. If you feel you must. Until Franz had the car ready. No, no, no. I can do that. Frida thank you. Goodbye, Maria. I'm sorry if I said something I shouldn't have said. You did say the wrong thing. But you said it at the right time. The children told me that you were going to marry Frau Schrader. We found we just couldn't go the same way. That door is shut. <laughs> Sister Margareta always says, when God shuts a door... I know. He opens a window. Maria, why did you run away to the Abbey? What made you come back? The Mother Abbess. She said you have to look for your life. <laughs> Often when you find it, you don't recognize it. But no. Not at first. Then one day, one night, Sudden, it stands before you. Yes. I realize now this isn't something that has just happened. It's, it's something I've known deep inside me for many, many weeks. You knew it too. How did you know? Brigitte, she said when we were dancing that night. She was quite right. That wasn't just an ordinary dance, was it? I hadn't danced since I was a little girl. It's quite different after you've grown up. That's quite different, too. <laughs> Maria, your whole life will be different now. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Give you anything you wish. But I don't want to go anywhere. All I could wish for is right here. Perhaps I had a
Those two ought to get together sometime. Who? The Mother Abbess and Brigitte. <laughs>
Are you responsible for this? I was just waiting to talk to you about it, Georg. Well, you can't talk your way out of this one. <gasps> Presents! Lots of presents in the nursery! In the nursery! Georg, I had to make a last minute decision. I was very fortunate to be able to edit them at all. They'll be the talk of the festival. Seven children in one family, not my family. The committee heard them, they were enchanted. Really, Max, what did they say? Oh, you never heard such praise. Georg, did you hear that? The Von Trapp family does not sing in public. But if they make people happy. And for the festival, people come from all over the world. It's out of the question. Georg, it's for Austria. There is no Austria. But the Antwerps happened peacefully. Let's at least be grateful for that. Grateful? To these swine? Maria, you must talk to him. I admire the way he feels about these people, but he has to compromise. No, Max, no. Maria, you must. Max, I can't ask Georg to be anything less than what he is. Then I'll do it. If these children don't sing in the festival, well, it would be a reflection on Austria. And it wouldn't do me any good. Oh. <laughs> Maria, I've always known you loved us children. Now I know you love Father. I do, Liesl. I love him very much. But how can you be sure? Well, I don't think first of myself anymore. I think first of him. I know now how to spend my love. When you're 16, going on 17, waiting for life to start, somebody kind who touches your mind will suddenly touch your heart. When that happens, after it happens, nothing is quite the same. Somehow you know you'll jump up and go if ever he calls your name. Gone are your old ideas of life, the old ideas you grow dim. Lo and behold, you are someone's wife, and you belong to him. You may think this kind of adventure never may come to Help me. 
Georg, whatever you decide will be my decision. Thank you. I know now that I can't do it. Of course not. We'll have to get out of Austria right away. You'll have to leave tonight, now! No, but not without my family. But we can't just pick up and leave. They'll be watching us now. We'll have to have a plan. We'll have to have time. Captain, Admiral von Schreiber of the Navy of the Third Reich is here to see you. Thank you, Franz. Can you give us some time? Then we'll have to make time. I'll bring them in. We must be careful. What's happening? Troopers! That's what I was afraid of! Maria! Max, stay with Georg. I need to find the children right away. Please, so get the children! This way, Admiral, we can talk in here. Admiral, may I present Herr Dadweiler? Max, I think you know Herr Zeller. Would you gentlemen care to uh, sit down? We are here on business. Captain Von Trapp, a telegram was sent to you three days ago. Yes, I've only just received it. I've only been home half an hour. Captain Von Trapp just returned from his honeymoon, sir. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, sir. Your record in the war is very well remembered by us, Captain. It's good to hear you say that, sir. Let's get to the point, if you don't mind. In our Navy, we hold you in very high regard. That explains why I'm here, having had received no, having had received no response to our telegram. The High Command has sent me in person. That's very flattering, Admiral. I had no time to consider. I'm here to present you your commission. I'm deeply conscious of the honor, sir. But and your orders are to report immediately to the naval base at Bremen. Immediately? Oh, I'm afraid that would be impossible for you, Georg. Admiral, may I present my wife, the Baroness von Trapp? Madam? What I mean, sir, is that we're all singing in the Kaltzberg Festival Friday night. You see, in the program, the Von Trapp family singers. Arranged by the Ministry of Education and Culture. <laughs> Friday night. This is Wednesday. That's only a matter of two days. It might be possible. You can report to Bremerhaven by Monday. Admiral, is there a telephone I can use? Right this way, sir. And if there are any questions, perhaps adding the weight of my voice. It gives here only the names of the children. Oh, it says the Von Trapp family singers. I am the head of the Von Trapp family. It's hard to imagine you, Captain, singing at a concert. As Zeller, you may believe what you choose. It doesn't say what you are going to sing, Captain. What are you going to sing? It is your privilege to come to the concert and hear us yourself. I'd like to hear you sing now. Sing what you're going to sing at the concert. Sing!
Uh, just a moment. I have an announcement that concerns you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that our concert festival has come to its conclusion. Except, of course, we don't know what that conclusion is going to be. Our judges are putting their heads together to arrive at their decision. And while we wait, I think there should be an encore. And this may be the last opportunity the Von Trapp family to sing together for a long, long time. I have just been informed that Captain Von Trapp leaves immediately following his performance to his new command of the naval forces of the Third Reich. He has been assigned a guard of honor and is to report directly from here to the naval bases in Fort Bremerhaven. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the family Von Trapp, again. Regretfully they tell us, but firmly they compel us to say goodbye to you. So long, farewell, our leaders sing goodnight. We hate to go and miss this pretty sight. So long, farewell, all be to sing adieu, 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 to you and you and you. So long, farewell, all be to sing goodbye, we flit, we float, we flee, we flee, we fly. So long, farewell, all leaders sing goodbye. The sun has gone to bed and so must I. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Well, many of them are there. I counted only eight troopers and their officer. Sister Margareta, if you didn't know we'd bring Gabby into this danger. It's outrageous. The church has always been a sanctuary. Not with these people. This is the third time they've searched the Abbey. Look back. Isn't this God's house? Shh. Yes, darling. It is. We must all be very, very quiet. I'll let you know when they've gone. Close the door and they go home. No, darling. We have a long drive ahead of us. Lisa, stay close. Sorry, we brought this on. Reverend Mother, we can never thank you. As soon as it's safe, we'll start. We hit our car deep in the woods. The car will do you no good. They've left a guard on the road in front of the gate. I've been listening to the wireless. All the roads are blocked. The border's been closed. I've always thought of these mountains as my friends. Standing there protecting us. Now they seem to have become my enemies. Never your enemies. Haven't you read? I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. Gail, I know that mountain as well as I know these gardens, and so do you. And once we're over that mountain, we are in Switzerland. But, but the children? We can help them. We can do it, Father, without any help. You'll have help. We shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. 